Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Cornwall Show and folks, I have found it. It's the first in the UK, the DD-130 Devlon Dozer. Here with Rob, who you have been the first person to fit a Devlon Dozer with the Leica Geosystem 3D Machine Control in the UK, Rob. Exciting. And it's here at the Cornwall Show. And it, then we're going to go and see this unit on site as soon as it gets there, folks. So, Rob, tell me a little bit about this. It's really quite exciting when you've got a new machine uh, into the market like this from Devlon uh, and then fitting the machine control what what are the, the elements that have gone into this so firstly we had to uh, liaise with the devlon team to get the schematic so we could connect into their system which would give control of the hydraulics when you press uh, the button for automatic so it's really important now in the uk isn't it everybody that has a dozer has machine control nowadays because exactly. you're, you're trimming you're doing everything and realistically a dozer is an expensive thing to maintain as well so you want to be doing things once and well and yep. when you can don't you so what are the benefits then of whoever buys this and i think i might know um <laughs> Uh, whoever buys this when you've got the system on um, here in, in the southwest, you've got a lot of users that are already using like aren't they? Yeah, often, often they are in sort of desolate locations and they're working on their own big tips, big earthworks moving. So for the engineer to be able to send a model directly through Connex and the dozer to trim to a level, it's just a game changer. So when you're talking about setting up, so you've got a schematic, you've, you've then put all of this together um, with the team here at, at Kellens uh, yeah. on their site. So it's like a ready when the customer comes to do it. But we see, to start off, we see two poles yeah. here. You know, what, what, what are these poles doing? And obviously they will have the mushrooms, as I like to yeah. call them, on the top of them, won't they? Yeah, so they're the antenna mast. And then we have an array of sensors which will pick up the six-way blade and then ultimately give the position back into the cab on the screen. And so you've also told me about the, the models and stuff. You've been helping people in the industry, in this part of the world, create the models. And, and now, you know, a dozer model is slightly different, again, yeah. to a digging model uh, as well. So uh, getting that surveyed and then put into the machine here. How simple is that? Yeah, so Peter, a lot of people have been uh, adopting the software and the surveying equipment that we've been using um, for the machine control models. Um, and for a dozer model, it doesn't work off line work like you would for a digger. You're not digging a trench. Um, it, you're creating yourself a surface. So you've got to have all your batters, dips, undulations up and down, um, all in one model. And then you can actually view it in 3D or 2D on the screen. And the other thing about that as well is you don't just have to go that section, is it? You, you can do the whole site exactly. um, as a 3D model. And then as you're pushing um, hard with this machine and getting to the next section, you're literally just saying, right, I'm here now. And, and, and that's all there yeah. with you, isn't it? And there's also an uh, as-built feature. So you oh, can right. actually set it to automatically log every five, 10 meters, whatever your parameters are from the tracks, from the blade. Often the tracks is best because you can then track around with the blade up. Yep. And you could create yourself an as-built out on site, gets uploaded to Connex, yep. engineer downloads it, and he's got his data. Well, that is quite interesting because I've been on a site recently where the developer had its offices on the same site. And so they were wanting to see progress work. Now, that was just for diggers. This is another thing where if you can see the dozer progress work, as well as the diggers that are naturally going to be on a site uh, when you're going to be using a dozer, that really gives you much more of a real time understanding of, of where your program is and everything, doesn't it? Totally. Yeah. Totally. So that means, folks, you can get the drivers onto the machines. They know that they've got a week's worth work, worth of work. If they're getting it done faster, then they're building out again, and then you can move around the machines. It's a lot more productive doing it with machine control, but equally, it's a lot more productive when you actually understand the level of people and, and things you need on site. Particularly as it's been so wet, Rob, <laughs> over the last week. People we've are trying to catch winter. up now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, we've had a wet winter. So now, now with the sun shining, you've got a lot more people coming out of the woodwork. Fantastic. So folks, the, the other thing I want to do is jump you into the, the cab so you can just explain what happens in the cab for the operator that's going to be seated in this brand new dozer to the UK market. Remember, the first with like a machine control as well in the UK. So come on, we've got to go this way. So remember, folks, it's a Devlon, but this is the cab. I mean, first of all, when you sat in the cab, there's a lot of space in the cab, isn't it? It's amazing. It's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the visibility is really good as well, folks. I've, I've looked at this machine before. Here is the screen yeah. uh, that you'll see right in front of you, isn't it? Exactly. So 
that's where all of the information sits, isn't it? Yeah, so that's going to contain your models. It's going to give you your left and right heights for whether you're on grade or how much you have to go down to get to the design level. You've got also got offset functions. So if you know that you've got sort of a formation to make up, if you're trimming stone, uh, if you're trimming soil, you can allow for that within the Leica system. So you're in control with a dozer, but as a dozer operator, you can actually you know, work with the tablet. Um, for yourself. So remember there folks, brand new dozer from Devlon. First in the UK with like a Geosystems machine control. All of the data and everything can come in for the whole site and the whole model, but you can even set your offsets yourself as the operator. So this just gives you a whole new way of working now with the Devlon brand and not just obviously the tablet in there going to be on the dozer, but you can get the tablet in some of these excavators we see on the stand behind us and therefore have a full Leica Geosystems ready site so that you can benefit from productivity and efficiency on the job site and get some sunshine and get working. Cheers.